She's got product in her hair, but she can still do hair flips. Hi there. Welcome to Life in Plastic. My name is Jared and I'm a doll collector. If you like dolls, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because in this channel we talk all about dolls and miniatures and doll related things. In this video, we are going to take a look at a very special and rather elusive doll. The official convention doll of the Japan and Madrid Spain Barbie conventions. Now those conventions were canceled this year because of the pandemic. Uh, however, the registered conventioneers still receive their convention gifts and their official convention dolls. Uh, so somehow I was able to get my hands on one of these dolls uh, and we are going to take a look at her in this video. So stick around. So this doll is called Chromatic Couture Barbie Doll and she was designed by one of my favorite designers from Barbie, Carlisle Nuera. Now Carlisle described this doll as all red everything and Carlisle actually designed uh, two different dolls for the conventions this year. Uh, one of them went to the conventioneers in Paris uh, and that one was a blue variation uh, of the Chromatic Couture Barbie. So there's a blue version that went to the conventioneers in Paris. Uh, and then this one is the red version that went to the conventioneers in Japan and Madrid. Uh, so let's take a look at her box. Uh, it's, it's very simple. It's that white box with the nice Barbie logo. Um, and it says chromatic couture in the bottom. Um, and there's a nice little description in the back, which I will read to you right now. Um, Whispers of excitement can be heard as Barbie chromatic couture doll makes a powerful entrance in monochromatic red. A faux leather bustier hugs a crimson tulle bodysuit as ruffled sleeves create a grand statement. Heads turn to take in her dramatic silhouette draped in flowy satin palazzo pants, paired with point-toe ankle boots. Dangling chain earrings catch the light as her long ruby hair is dramatically swept back from her face to reveal bold red makeup with matching nail polish. Fierce and ferocious, Barbie chromatic couture doll is elegant in a look that vibrates with intensity. So yeah, it's going to be an all red monochromatic moment for Barbie. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look inside the box uh, to see what this doll actually looks like. Are you ready to see this doll? All right, one, two, and three. Woo! She is all red everything. Just like Carlisle said, right. um, I mean, yeah. wow, 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 wow. Look at that doll. All right. I'm the devil. Okay. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Uh, she has got the model muse body uh, and also the Madame Lavinia face sculpt. Um, interestingly enough, Madame Lavinia was a sculpt that was first used by Carlisle uh, in his Harlem Theater collection. Um, so Madame Lav Lavinia was a character in the Harlem Theater series. Uh, and this use of the sculpt is so interesting uh, because the original Madame Lavinia, of course, was an African-American doll beautiful i have her um and this time we see the madame lavinia sculpt used in this very pale skin tone 
Um, I, I, I can't even quite tell if she is supposed to be like Asian or Caucasian. Um, it's just, a, you know, this pale skin uh, with paired with the Madame Lavinia sculpt gives us a very pretty doll. Um, yeah, so let's start from the top. Okay, from what we can see in the box. And then uh, later we're going to set her free. We're gonna let her out of the box. So starting from the top, uh, let's give her a little close up right there. Um, so she has this ruby red hair um, that is actually, it's, it's two-toned uh, or maybe more. I mean, there are at least two tones of red hair in there. So it gives it a very uh, multi-dimensional look. Uh, and it's very long. Uh, you can see the hair goes all the way down to, um, like it's almost at her knees. It's very long hair. Um, so yeah, I love that. I love long hair on dolls. Um, and she has got these dangling chain earrings, right? You can see she has got dangling chain earrings. Um, and yeah, you can tell that she's she's got, well, I don't know how well you can see it uh, on the screen, but she has got these dramatic ruffled sleeves um, on her bodysuit. Apparently this is a bodysuit. Um, I've seen Carla explain this. Um, so yeah, without taking her out of the box, I, I already know it's a bodysuit. Uh, but on top of the bodysuit is this red faux leather bustier. Uh, and then of course, on the bottom, she's wearing these satin wide leg palazzo pants. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really unique uh, and pretty. Uh, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. So without further ado, uh, let's take her out from this box. All right, so actually um, the first thing that I do, as I have mentioned in my other videos, when taking a doll out of the box uh, is to take her certificate of authenticity out. All right, because I place it in a nice little photo album uh, so I don't lose my certificates of authenticity. So here she is, the sleeve is out. Uh, I'm gonna put the doll down for a second. Uh, and here inside the box, taped to the inside of the box is the certificate of authenticity. I'm gonna take it out. All right. Take it out of the plastic. All right, so here is my certificate of authenticity. Uh, so it says, Chromatic Couture Doll. This certifies that your Barbie Chromatic Couture Doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. Uh, and it is a numbered edition. It's platinum label, um, of course, because it's a convention doll. Uh, it's platinum label and the edition size is 2,500. So there are 2,500 of these dolls out there. Um, and each of them is numbered, and I got number 63. So number 63, um, that's kind of a nice low production number. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, number 63 of 2,500. Um, so I'm gonna put this certificate of authenticity in my um, photo album that is filled with certificates from my other dolls. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna show you that that album because um, I've been talking about it and I haven't shown you guys what it looks like. So let me just grab it and I'll be right back. 
All right, so I have been talking about this uh, photo album that I've been using to keep all of my certificates of authenticity. Uh, and here it is, it's, you know, it's not a particularly cute photo album. It's just black, um, faux leather. And um, yeah, it holds, um, I don't know how many pictures it's supposed to hold, uh, but here's what it looks like. So as you can see, I have filled it with certificates. Um, yeah, lots and lots of certificates. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even sure how many certificates are in here at this point. Uh, I know the last time I did an official inventory of my collection, uh, I have about um, 350 Barbie dolls. Um, so, um, I'm sure I missed some of them, uh, when putting away the certificates of authenticity. So I'm not sure if I have, if, if I even, uh, I'm not sure if I even have 300 certificates in this album, uh, but it's getting quite full. I'm running out of room. Uh, so I'm going to start looking for a new one, uh, and hopefully I'll find like a cuter one. Uh, you know, maybe something Barbie or Barbie-esque, right? <laughs> All right, so anyway, back to Chromatic Couture Barbie. Uh, we are going to take her out of the cardboard sleeve uh, so we can take a close look at her uh, and just inspect the elements of this doll. Um, All right, gonna do that right now. All right, so here she is out of the cardboard sleeve. She is so pretty. Still have some loose strings from her hair. Um, yeah, here she is. She is so, so gorgeous. Love that Madame Lavinia sculpt. All right, um, so she's got the model muse body with the straight arms uh, and these dramatic ruffled sleeves, uh, which as Carlisle mentioned in his video reveal of this doll uh, for the conventioneers, uh, if you look at it, it's kind of like a heart shape, right? The sleeves. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, and here is her very long hair. Like I said, it pretty much, it goes down almost to her knees. Um, and it's multiple tones of red. There's at least two tones of uh, hair that, that was used to root this doll. Um, so she has, uh, let me just give you a close up look of her face. She has red winged eyeliner, all right? And of course, red, red lips. Uh, and she's got red nail polish and red boots, all right? Red ankle boots uh, and they're high heeled. So cute, all right? I love it. Um, and the uh, the fabric on the Palazzo pants feels really nice. It feels feels like it's nice fabric. So, of course, I appreciate that. Um, so let's take a look at this doll without her clothes, right? Um, ooh. <laughs> You guys know I love me some good closures on doll outfits. Um, let me see if 
I hold her by her hair. Uh, so as you can see, the closures on the pieces of this outfit are all snaps. Yes, snaps. You heard that right. Um, I love it. At least it's not Velcro. Um, so let's take the pieces of this outfit off. Uh, starting with this faux leather bustier. All right, so the faux leather bustier is off. There it is. Very nice. Um, next, we're gonna take off. So here she is without the bustier. As you can see, it's just a mesh bodysuit or tulle uh, bodysuit. Um, and then we can take off her wide leg satin palazzo pants. Gotta be careful when uh, pulling on this fabric because it feels kind of delicate. Um, so I'm gonna be very careful when doing this. It's not that easy to take off. Um, okay, it's starting to come off. There you go. Alrighty. And it's off. Um, so these are the pants on this doll. Um, and then she is left with this bodysuit. Um, which I don't even think I'm going to take the bodysuit off uh, just because I feel like it's going to be a chore to put it back on. Uh, I feel like it's going to be, it's not going to be so easy to put it back on. Uh, but I wanted you to see how this doll looks underneath all of those clothes. Uh, so there she is. She's got the model muse body with the left leg bent, um, strike a pose, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, another thing I like about her is look at her eyebrows. They're nice and full. So, you know, that seems to be the thing nowadays is to have full eyebrows and not like the pencil thin eyebrows um, back from I don't even know when. Um, but yeah, she's got nice eyebrows. Um, she's got very pretty brown eyes. And I just love her dramatic ruffle sleeves. Something about it is just making me so happy. Um, <clears throat> so overall, a very nice doll. I feel like this is going to be a doll that will be fun to redress um, eventually. I think I'm gonna keep her in this outfit for a while, but then uh, if I, you know, if at some point I do get bored of all the red, um, I feel like she is going to look so cute in some other clothes, right? Um, yeah, so I can't wait to put her in some other outfits and of course take some pictures for my Instagram, uh, which if you are not following yet, uh, you should be. It is Life in Plastic Blog. Uh, so yeah, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me yet. Um, I take lots and lots of doll pictures. Well, recently I've been more um, focused on creating content for YouTube. Uh, so I don't take as many pictures as I used to, uh, but there's plenty of content there uh, for you to check out. So yeah, check me out on Instagram. Um, Shameless plug. All right, so I'm gonna put the clothes back on this 
chromatic couture Barbie doll. Um, let's just give her hair a... I'm gonna put the clothes back on her. Um, yeah, I, there's a little bit of product in the hair, but I feel like uh, it's really not a lot. Um, and eventually we'll get it to the point where it just... flows beautifully. Um, <clears throat> She is. I'm gonna put her back in the, the clothes. All right. Oh, so now that I'm in the process of putting the clothes back onto the doll, I just um, realized that I forgot to point out this nice little detail, uh, which is the open back of this outfit. It's just so sultry. Uh, I love it. It's very sultry, very sexy. Um, yeah, very Barbie for grown-ups. <laughs> Uh, so now that I have the doll uh, back in her clothes, I just want to show you this doll stand that came with the doll. It's all red. Uh, it comes with, you know, the red base, uh, which has, it's, it's the uh, plastic base that's hollow. Uh, and then you've got this uh, clear red post uh, and this red waist clip. Um, which I think was a nice touch, you know, having, being that the doll is uh, all about the color red, uh, the doll stand might as well be red. Uh, so even though I don't usually use the, the doll stands that come with Barbie dolls, um, I'm gonna use this one because I think it's kind of special and it just adds uh, a little special something to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, Chromatic Couture Barbie on her red doll stand. All right, so I'm gonna try not to ramble, but I want to give you my final thoughts on this doll. Um, so I'm very pleased that I got her. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's lovely. Uh, Carlisle did a great job designing this doll. Um, and I particularly enjoyed the use of the Madame Lavinia face sculpt on a lighter skin tone. Um, I think it's great that Carlisle and Barbie in general uh, is experimenting with different combinations of face sculpts and skin tones. Uh, he's done this a number of times before uh, with other dolls and I think it's wonderful because uh, you just get to see, you know, this diversity in, in Barbie. Uh, people see themselves represented in these various dolls with the different uh, sculpts and the different skin tones. Um, I think it's beautiful. Uh, and this doll in particular uh, is, you know, just another great example of that. Um, also, I am loving the quality of her garments. Uh, I love that they used snaps uh, for the closures on this outfit. Um, I love that there are like three distinct pieces uh, of clothing on this doll. Uh, that it's not just one, you know, sewn on outfit that you can't remove. Uh, so she's going to be fun to redress uh, because of this. Uh, and I just think, you know, the, the whole concept of it uh, being monochromatic uh, is kind of fun and interesting uh, because we haven't seen that in a, in a while uh, with Barbie. Again, overall, I'm very happy. So glad I got her. Uh, and... Um, and I'm so happy for everyone else who did manage to get this doll. So congratulations to all of us. Megan High um, <laughs> All right, that is it for Chromatic Couture Barbie doll. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And thank you so much for sharing this lovely moment with me. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, and also hit the notification bell so that you get updated when I post new content. And I'll see you in the next video. Alrighty?